Welcome back to Better Lab. I'm your host, Dr. Greg. Today, we're talking about repair on our season two finale, episode 33. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. And it starts with taking responsibility. Now, what do I mean by that? I mean that if I am in an argument with my spouse, my lover, my partner, and I am critical, defensive, I'm stonewalling, I'm contemptuous, I'm doing anything that is the opposite of what I want to be doing, <laughs> if I want to love that person fiercely, then I can take responsibility. I can catch myself in the moment. I can catch myself and I take responsibility and say, wait, I'm being a little critical right now. I'm sorry. Or I'm, you know what? I'm being a little defensive right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let, let's get back to it. What, what is it that you need from me right now? You know what I mean? So getting back to the conversation, the, the gist of it versus getting defensive and all these other things. So number one, take accountability in the moment to be a partner, a teammate to work through the situation. Repair strategy number two is to actually express interest in your partner, your wife, your husband's point, you know, like their stance on whatever it is that they're trying to communicate to. Really get curious about what that is because maybe there's something about how this conversation is going off the rails that has to do with the meaning of the thing to your partner, which you have still not connected to. So number two, be super curious. My third strategy for repair has to do with a sense of resolution. Now it's not resolution in a traditional sense is like there was a problem and it's been solved now because many, many, many uh, issues that we encounter in our day-to-day -day life with our partner who we're in a long-term relationship with will be perpetual. All these things that are just routine day-to-day -day things, they, they tie into personality, values, beliefs, et cetera. The third piece has to do with, well, how can we get through this differently together moving forward. What can I do? What can you do? And actually sharing that with one another. And it's key. It's, it's the closest we can get to a sense of resolution. And here's a bonus fourth repair strategy. It's called follow-up. Once we understand our partner and what went wrong in that conversation, we follow up by the actually trying to do better the next time we encounter that issue. And when our partner does the same, and we see each other making that effort, that is the connection that increases our positive perspective about our ability to make it through hard things. And you will encounter hard things in your life likely. It will be relative to wherever you are in the world in your particular circumstance and the personality and circumstances of your partner. But each of us will encounter hardships. We will encounter storms in our life where we have to get through hard things together. And we wanna be in relationship with someone who we see as an equal, a mature, responsible adult who's able to take responsibility for their actions and join with us and work toward becoming a better, more fierce team and loving each other more fiercely. And this is our aspiration here at A Better Love Project and here on the show that we're helping you be the best version of yourself and that you are matching with uh, and growing in relationship with people who are doing the same thing, bringing a relative similar amount of energy to loving themselves and you. And if you were listening to my first repair strategy and saying, Dr. Greg, there's no way that I could catch myself in the middle of a conflict and do the thing that you suggested, well, then I'm inviting you personally to come join me every day at A Better Love Project on YouTube to meditate for 20 minutes. 20 minutes of meditation with me every day. It's at 9 a.m. Pacific time most days and on Wednesdays and Saturdays at 7 a.m. Pacific time, YouTube live streaming. If you can't catch the episode, you can watch it later. Thank you to each and every one of you who have joined me every day for most days to do that meditation. And I hope that you have continued to grow in your ability to slow processes down, particularly in conflict, and make better decisions. If you believe in the mission here at A Better Love Project, our ability to be able to communicate to as many people as we possibly can relies on your generous donations. We're going to be launching our 2023 fundraising campaign for A Better Love Project. If you want to get ahead of that, go to abetterloveproject.org today. Click the donate button and donate 100 bucks today. $1,000 today to support our 501c3 nonprofit educational 
platform here at A Better Love Project. We're based in California. We've reached millions of views. We want to be able to, in this coming year, meet you in person and take this virtual platform to in-person experiences, educational experiences, learning new skills in person with me and colleagues. And so we can only do that with your financial support. If you believe in the mission, if you get value from these episodes, please donate today. A quick thank you to everyone who has already contributed in 2023. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for your continued support of this mission. From my heart to yours, love each other fiercely. We'll see you in season three. Peace.